Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to go over how to um, animate a perspective uh, and we're going to be using um, different type of people. Uh, we've been using silhouettes so we're going to be trying trying to use uh, more realistic people and how to navigate some of the issues that we have uh, to animate them in our perspective. So let's get started here. We have um, just going to open up uh, After Effects and create a new composition, like always, and uh, make sure you know these settings are uh, uh, kind of the default, right? Uh, 1280 by 720 is a good size, and um, just make sure everything's correct. And I'm just going to call it Perspective. Uh, perspective. Uh, here, fine. For now, okay. And so we have our background. So I'm going to just be using a, pers a quick perspective I did uh, for the for this demonstration. And uh, I'm just going to import it in and by dragging it in. I'm going to scale it down, fill in our frame. Uh, and that looks pretty good. And then, um, yeah, as you can see, it's a perspective uh, type of rendering, right? And what we're going to do is... So again, uh, very similar to our last process. If you just uh, Google, um, uh, let's do people walking uh, video, uh, and actually, what might help is if you do green screen, and it's probably easier to work with. Uh, so. Yeah, you can start to see I've been browsing some of these. So here's one of them, right? And you can go ahead and, and download these. Uh, if you click on them, right click, uh, save video as, right? And you can start to build your library. And so I've already downloaded uh, some of them. And I guess I can start off with, uh, let's start off with someone else different. Uh, I'm just going to drag this person here. Uh, and drag them down here to the layers panel, right? And there's there's our person, right? As you can see, if I press play, uh, you know, we can start to uh, visualize how he might fit in the rendering, right? So, you know, uh, yeah, like I'm gonna make him walk maybe from here to here, right? And so, uh, let me just get a little bit more set up here. Let me bring this down to eight seconds or timeline here. And uh, our other seconds here, uh, and yeah, and I'm just going to show you very similar to the other process of uh, cutting out silhouettes. We're going to go to effect, um, generate no uh, keying, all right, keying color range, and uh. Yeah, it's the same process. Uh, let's get that. And you know, it's not going to be perfect here, but keep uh, adding color range of there to kind of clean up. And we're always going to have that uh, watermark on top of it, but that's okay. Kind of, I'll show you how to kind of blend it in a little bit. Um, but it's kind of not a big deal because it's more about visualizing the perspective, right? Uh, so let's do. Um, yeah, uh, let's put up some fuzziness, right? And as you can see, like I like to kind of really do this. It kind of adds a little uh, opacity to, to the person here. And you can see, yeah, it kind of starts to blend in that that, uh, that watermark, right? And so uh, what else can we move? I think that's okay for now. We can work with this. Uh, so let's, um, you know, I'm going to try to scale them up. To about the same height here as this uh, reference as this other entourage here. So I'm going to scale them up, right? Click here. And, you know, that's looking good. And because it's going to be walking this way. So starting off here, it's probably about the same, or maybe we can make them just a tad bit. Scale them up bigger, like there. Uh, you know, that's looking good. And so in order to create the effect of him walking, Along the frame here, uh, we're gonna I'm gonna move myself here, and 
let's do uh, yeah so let's put this at zero our, our timeline here our timeline mover uh, zero and let's do um, position click that and zero and then I'm going to go to eight and I am going to move him kind of right you know right there maybe uh, and yeah and so that should make a little keyframe there too uh, so as you can see it's kind of walking along and yeah he's following that path all right and so we do want to scale him down as he goes so let's do uh, we're going to do kind of the same technique here but we're going to do scale which is down here so put this at zero scale and then uh, we're going to go move them to the eight where we want to end off and then Gonna move, drag this down to let's see. You know, you can scale up using the handlebars here, but you can also do it here, which is kind of nice. Kind of visualize it a little bit better. Uh, so let's see. I'm trying to match him kind of to this person, right? And he might be, yeah, he'll probably be a little bit bigger. So let's see, maybe there. So now it's looking about right. Okay, so now let's uh, let's try that. Right? You can see we can start to really animate um, um, people within this plaza, right? This uh, perspective here. And you know, the watermark is there, and you could leave it like that. I, I, I feel like uh, because we're kind of limited with uh, the type of uh, entourage we can get uh, with video, really, um, it's okay to kind of, you know, it's not too distracting, and it kind of works nicely, kind of blends in to the background. Uh, but we, what we can do is we can start to add some effects maybe so if we go to effect and we go to uh, generate uh, kind of been messing around with this four color gradient right kind of creates that kind of cool uh, gradient there so we could do something like that it helps kind of blend in the watermark right or we could do maybe uh, let's see let's try something else here um, uh, generate, uh, you know, you could explore any of these, but let's see, maybe just a uh, gradient red? Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So, kind of been liking this one, just because it's a black and white gradient ramp, and you can change the colors here, right? But this one feels uh, nice, right? And so I'm actually going to invert the colors to see if that makes uh, any difference. So let's do this. And then let's do this, right? Yeah, that's kind of cool, right? And it kind of blends in even more of the watermark. Uh, but we could have some fun. You know, you can press the swap colors. Uh, and, uh, oops. Sorry, probably stopped here. Um, so let's, uh, let's see, you know, we can try to blend them in a little bit, right, and add a little bit more effect as well, right? You know, and that starts to kind of, uh, uh, look pretty good, right? So, yeah, so I just wanted to show that, and again, we can add more people around, but, um, you know, just for fun, I'm gonna, uh, let's see... Let's just do uh, maybe a bright color here. Uh, would be kind of nice. Maybe red. Kind of stand out. Uh, even like a bluish, right? Because he is wearing kind of a blue T-shirt, so kind of make make it kind of feel a little bit. Um, So maybe, you know, maybe let's do a little bit less, right? And then um, we can also do kind of radio. Let's see what this looks like, right? Yeah, not much of a difference. You can kind of tell, but uh, then here's okay. We can swap the colors, right? That kind of looks nice, right? Then, yeah. 
Yeah, so I just wanted to show that. And again, you can add as many people as you want. Do the same process. Uh, let's see, I wanted to keep this short, but um, maybe let's just do one with Kristen here, kind of show you it again. And so, uh, yeah, we're just going to drag this uh, in here. And it's important, right? And cool. I don't know why he ended up down there, but um, again, if you need, um, if you kind of want more of the basics of silhouettes, uh, check out the other videos. Uh, but uh, here we go. We're just going to do king, color range. Here we go. And right, there we go. Just got to get that, right? And uh, fuzz, kind of take out that. Uh, a little bit of green, right? There we go. See what that's looking like there. It's looking good. And so uh, let's see, it's this one, right? And let's move on. You know, maybe him. You know, maybe he's walking across the air somewhere, right? Yeah, maybe he goes off the frame, right? So I'm gonna scale him down here. And since he's walking kind of in a in a straight um, in a straight uh, line here, we can just uh, keep him the same size, so we don't have to scale him, and we can just change his position, right? So if we go down here, um, position, and bring this to zero, um, hit the little timer there. Uh, let's see, we move him. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, move this uh, to eight. Actually, I want him probably gone by, you know, he's moving pretty quick, so maybe by four, right? And so it's going to move him away, right? And it should uh, automatically do your frame there. And so if we press play, yeah. And it would be gone by four, right? And uh, again, just to show you another effect, uh, generate. Uh, let's. Let's stick with this uh, four color gradient just to change it up, right? Create that. Right? And again, you can mess around with the colors and create all sorts of uh, combinations and, and effects to it, right? But as you can see, it starts to really bring the perspective to life a little bit more than rather than just having these static images, right? And again, you can add uh, butterflies and then birds and uh, people sitting, right? And a lot of it is just finding uh, uh, the right people. In these and of course it's not perfect because we do have to uh, navigate the watermark but I uh, hope this starts to uh, give some ideas out there right so yeah and so that's it for this um, uh, small video uh, short video here uh, and I hope it, it helps uh, visualize also that it's it's not just about the section or using a lot of people but we can start to explore uh, uh, also animating perspectives this way right well, uh, thank you so much for your attention, and I'll see you next time. Hope this helps.